Vectors, Crazy IGCSE. Welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE, where you can study seven IGCSE subjects at one place. The subjects include business, economics, accounts, biology, physics, maths, English as second language. So here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. So a vector has a direction and a magnitude. However, scalar only has a magnitude and no direction. So in this question, it is A to B and the arrow has also been marked here. So now we know that A to B is equal to A. But now you want to know what is B to A. Since B to A will be the opposite direction, it will be minus A. So whenever it is the opposite direction, it is always minus. Now this we have to find this part and this is called the resultant. So for that we know that we, we have two answers. One which is going in this direction. So for that it would be it is going to the right so it is 3 and then it is going up which is 1. If it was if you're taking it the opposite way if you want to find it this way so it is going down which means minus 1 the opposite direction and it's going to the left side which is the opposite direction that is minus 3 so adding is c is equal to a plus b and subtracting is a uh, sorry c is equal to a minus b so here is an example so this is the question and then here we need to first find e to d so e to d is this part. Now we know that opposite opposite e to d is a to b which is uh, equal to e to d and that is a. So this will also be a. Then f to e is this part. So f to e we know that this is b to c is b so f to e is b. Okay. Then A to F, it is opposite, so again it is opposite to C, so it is C. Then A to E, so A to E is this part. Now for going to A to E, we have to go A to F and F to E, which is C and B here. So, it can be C plus B. Uh, now, we'll just erase all the drawings so we can understand it clearly. Now, we need to find DA. So, DA is this part. So, for that, we have to go like this, this and this. Now, D to C will be C. And now, CB will be minus B. It's going the opposite direction. And B to A is also going the opposite direction. So it is minus A. So this is minus C minus B minus A. Then B to F. B to F is this part. For going to B to F, we have to go from B to A and then A to F. For that, we can do A plus C. Then E to C. E to C is this. So for that we have to go this way and then down here. So it will be A and then minus C. Then D to F. D to F is going to be from here to here. For that we have to always. Um, first of all you should know that you need to start from the. Uh, letter we are reaching so le the letter we are reaching is F right so from there we start so F to E is going to be minus A and then minus B so this is how you do it because for this we are going this direction and then this direction so here it is A and here it's going the opposite direction so it will be minus a then here it is going the opposite direction so it will be minus b 
this is how you get minus a minus b now parallel vectors are always equal so here's a question p is equal to 2 3 q is equal to minus 1 1 so we need to write down as column vector 3 p so for that we'll keep 3 over here now we know that p is equal to 2 3 so we just put the bracket here so we just multiply 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 3 is 9 that's it now for minus p we just need to put the minus sign and then put the value of p which is 2 and then 3 and now minus here means 1 minus 1 so it will be minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 and minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 so now we have to do q plus p so what is the value of q minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 1 plus p is 2 3 so here we just add so minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 and 1 plus 3 will be 4 and then uh, we have so then we have q minus p for q minus p we write q minus 1 and then 1 and then minus the p which is 2 and 3 so minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 and 1 minus 3 is minus 2 so this is your answer then 3p plus 5q for that write 3 put the value of p which is 2 3 plus 5 and then q value is minus 1 and 1 then we do the multiplication so 3 2s are 6 and then 3 3s are 9 sorry 9 then plus 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 and 5 into 1 is 5 so then we add this so 6 mi uh, plus minus wa uh, 5 is 1 and 9 plus 5 is 14 so our answer is 1 14 then half p for that we write half put the value of p which is 2 3 so then we just have to do 2 into 1 by 2 and 3 into 1 by 2 so we just multiply each of it so 1 by 2 into 2 and uh, 1 by 2 into 3 so we get 1 and 3 by 2 we can write it in the fraction form itself so now parallel vector this is another question 1 by 3 a minus b so here they haven't given us any um, thing that you know a is equal to something and b is equal to something they just told us that we need to find it so we have to make 1 by 3 the common so 1 by 3 is common so it will be outside the bracket now uh, uh, 1 by 3 will be 1 by 3 a and then this b which is there you can multiply it so it becomes a, my, a 3 into minus b which is uh, minus 3 b and then you also divide it by 3 because uh, 3 is in the denominator which means it's for the whole 1 a minus b so then you uh, know that 1 by 3 is going to be the common one out so leave it out so when you cut that you are remaining with you can also cut this since this is getting cancelled out so then you are just remaining with this part which is a minus 3 b so this is your answer then you have to find the magnitude of the vector a b um, 
a b is equal to 3 minus 4 so this is the resultant force now for finding the magnitude we just have to do this so 3 square plus minus 4 square so it is going to be 5 your answer is 5 now for this one mn is equal to 7 11 so uh, we just do the same we put 7 square plus 11 square and then we get 13.04 then for PQ is equal to minus 6 minus 8, we just have to do minus 6 square plus minus 8 square. Also remember always put your uh, number in bracket in the calculator. So then you get an answer of 10. Now if A is equal to 2, 1 b is equal to 3 minus 2 and c is equal to 4 minus 3 we need to find x so this first question is x minus c is equal to a now to find x first let's substitute the value so we keep x like that minus we know uh, the c value is 4 and minus 3 which is equal to a a is 2 and then 1 so now if you have to find x so we, when we bring it to the other side it becomes x is equal to a plus c which means a is 2 1 and plus and c is 4 minus 3 so 2 plus 4 is 6 and 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So this is your answer. So thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE. This is the end of our topic. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.